ready to go. And today's starter, Christian Javier. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Just blown that away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Third. Another one the right there. They have clearly got a great one. plan for yeah. how to deal with this guy right yeah. now. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a pass. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Bottom of the first. Now it's the right fielder, Kenny Lofton. Leading up for the and the pitch. The right fielder, Kenny. And first offering Lofton. is fouled off. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Moore, get it. Way back there and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Batting second. And the batter now, the Joe season. Morgan. Joe Morgan. Well struck left field. It's got a chance. And it's off the top of the wall. Throw cut off to third. In there safely. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Batting third. The second baseman. Jose Altuve. Left field. Benintendi is there. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Jeff Bagwell up next for the Astros. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Jeff Bagwell. Now fly ball to right center. And no one can get there. It falls in. In comes the runner from third. It's 2-0. And he's got an RBI triple. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Gathers and throws to first. Out number two and another run comes in. And now it's Alex Bregman. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got that a fastball, that. middle of the plate, the jumped all field. over it. Absolutely Indeed. smoked that ball. And Indeed. now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now, Steve Finley. Swing at a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Back-to-back -back singles. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and that two out. The Christian Kevin. Vasquez, the hitter. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA, and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. Pulls it in on the run. Back here in Houston. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Leading off of the Yankees. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Here's Josh Donaldson. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Two down, nobody on. Strike two. Ahead 0 2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Back here in Houston, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Not shortstop. Cole, back to work. Pena. On the ground. Throw on to Rizzo, and quickly one away in the second. Kenny Lofton, up next for the Astros. Kenny Lofton. And first offering is fouled off. pitch and that one handled on to first and a couple of quick outs two outs base is empty and stepping in for the Astros Joe Morgan he tripled and scored his first time liner and that should be extra bases around first and hustling for second in safely it's a double and his second hit. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? Now 109 in this case. I mean, that's just Coach impressive. Bay. And it's so oh, cool we can Bay. get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. The 0 1 in the air out towards left center. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. And they get out to Bay for the out. And that is that. So the Astros lead one, but they lead it 3 0. Out of the third inning, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Leading off for the Yankees. The wind of the pitch. The first baseman. Anthony and first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts Back of this hit. one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right through there. Got him. And there's two away. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Down in order, go the Yankees. They trail it here. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the D.H. Leading Jeff up. Bagwell. The, Astros, the designated hitter. Jeff. Chop back up the middle. Bagwell. The throw to first. Bagwell out on the play. Here's the Jordan team. Alvarez. Number 44. Jordan Alvarez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. In the air out to center. Judge is under it. Makes the grab. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for Third him and for his team. Two, two outs, out. space is empty. Here's Bregman. Alex Bregman. Good contact guy, good defender. There's a swing and a drive. 
And it's off the wall, but foul. And he deals. Swing, get a ball popped up. LeMayhew makes the catch. And back here at the ballpark, Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Swing and a slow roller. Altuve handles the chance to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. LeMayhew batting for the second time. And that's strike one. The Yanks hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, there's two away. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And that one is lifted in the air. Lofton under this one. Put the squeeze on it. And that's the inning. So the Yanks go in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And welcome back. Bottom four. Here's a speed threat. Steve Finley. For the Astros, the center fielder, Steve Cole. Back Finley. to work. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one's carrying. And it's off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the, the wall, catcher. you kind of think nine. about what it... Here's the pitch. Yeah. Runner breaks for third. That's it for a strike. Throw there. Safe. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Out to short. LeMahieu gets it to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now here is Jeremy Pena. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters' meeting before this game started. That one lifted to left. Benintendi is there. He makes the catch, and there's two down. So the Nobody Houston lineup Number turns seven. over. And now, Kenny, Kenny Lofton. Lofton. And first offering is fouled off. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. To the batter now, Joe Morgan. Line drive, base hit. Lofton around third. He will score. It's 5 nothing. Back to back base hits. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Athlete. The second baseman. Here's the Jose. former MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The 0-1. To third, Donaldson gloves it. They take the force out, and that is that. Welcome back. Here's Stanton now. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. That one hammered left field back there, and it's gone. 
Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my oh, experience, when you're looking out over the but plate, allowing the ball to travel, yeah. it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Got him. And one gone. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected now from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And no pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this, well, look at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. Back here in Houston, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Jeff Bagwell. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Throws across the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. Swing and a ball popped up. LeMayhew makes the grab. Two down. Two Third outs, base is empty. Two. Now it's Alex, Alex Bregman. This guy has Bregman. turned into a beast. Out to short, handled by LeMayhew. Fires across the diamond, and they get Bregman. Top of the sixth inning. Here's Jose Trevino. Leading off of the Yankees. Strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes Jose. as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. The 2 Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Marwin Gonzalez up to hit here. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Snags it for the second out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just now got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Andrew. Back to the top of the ben Yankee Andrew. order at the plate. Andrew Benintendi. Foul ball there. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skipper. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that's the third out. Seven, eight, nine. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Wandy Peralta. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And he grounds one to the right side. He handles it himself. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The Here's Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. Hard hit, left field, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The batter, number three. And next to hit Short for Houston, up. Jeremy Payne. Jeremy. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Activity in the bullpen. Scott Efrox appears to be getting loose. Swings and misses.
Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. On to first. Double play. And that's the inning. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Billy Wagner, trying to protect this lead. LeMayhew stands in now and watches strike one. At the belt and five. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The Yankees looking to rally. And down on strikes he goes. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. It's really trying to stay in on the hands. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So back here at Minute Maid Park. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, Kenny Lofton. The right fielder. Here comes a pitch. Lofton. This one in the air center field. A little bloop single. And the leadoff man aboard. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that. They have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And the 2 Ground ball right side could be two. On a second, they get one over to first safe. Man at first. So next up for Houston, Jose Altuve. Altuve. That's to third, Donaldson. Fires to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing day. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the DH, Matt Carpenter. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Got him looking. And one out now. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. The punch out there. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third up strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Yanks. Scott Efron gets the call now from the pen. The He's making his fourth appearance Number of the season. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Jeff Bagwell. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. And there's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Seems like he got exactly what he was so looking for right cover. there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So, man aboard. Now it's the power-speed combo. You're Don Alvarez. And that one wrapped foul. Get there, that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Third baseman number two, Alex Bregman. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. On the ground to third. 
Donaldson tosses the first in time. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Two on with one out. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Steve Finley for the fourth time tonight. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Benintendi puts it away. Both runners tagging. He scores on the sack fly, and the lead is up to five. Christian Vasquez up next for the Astros. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And first offering is fouled off. Alvarez at third with two away. It's softly on the ground left side. Out with room to spare and that's the inning. New inning getting started and now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Trevino. There's a strike. Catcher, number 39. Jose Trevino. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Marwin Gonzalez stepping in now for the, the Yankees. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And now just two outs away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And they're down to their last out. So the batting order turns over. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Next pitch has popped up. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros have won four in a row. 6-1 is your final here today.